And I've experienced this, and I believe God is going, I believe God is going to so infuse this reality into us. It is going to realign everything we do. It's going to realign every motive. It's going to realign even our activity. That everything we pour our lives into will be aligned with heaven's heart and God's heart. Whether people see it or they don't. Whether it's something that is seen before everyone or something that is done totally in secret that only you and those people that you're pouring into know about. Or that one person knows about. And I remember this. There was, there was something that happened in my life and something happened that I just got really hurt by. And I remember... I was like, you know, I know the teaching of forgiveness. You know, you got to choose to forgive. And every day, this person would come into my brain. And I'd be like, I choose to forgive. And then the next day, I choose to forgive. And then the next day, I choose to forgive. The problem is I kept choosing to forgive, but I really wasn't feeling forgiveness. I was feeling irritation. I choose to forgive. God, they're so stupid. I choose to forgive. God, I pray they reap what they sow. I choose to forgive. God, I pray a big harvest in their life. God, I choose to forgive. And, you know, it was this constant choosing to forgive but not really feeling like I was forgiving. And I remember one day I was, I was traveling on the road and I'm in the hotel preparing for a meeting and out of nowhere as I'm just waiting on God, I feel His love fill my heart. As this love fills my heart, all of the offense melts away and I truly forgive this individual. To the point where what they did no longer robs my joy or peace or God's presence within me or even my attitude. But I could think about this person, know what they did, but at the same time feel God's heart for them and have no negativity on the inside of myself. Praise God. That's what God's love will do. That's what God's love will do. And it's like God didn't change that situation. God did not change that person. They're, that person is still walking in their process with God. God is still working with them, moving in them, and bringing them through their process. But they did not change in that, in that circumstance or in, in, that, in that thing. But in the process of it, God did something in me. In the process of that, God gave me an opportunity to grow in His divine love for another human being. Praise God. It all comes down to this. Love God with all your heart. The gospel is simple. Love God with all your heart and love people. If you can get those two things, you will have gotten what is most important to God for eternity. You will have gotten what is most important. And I believe tonight... I believe that as we say, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place, that God will cause your heart to be really free of offense, really free of pain and hurt and, and whatever, irritation, frustration with another person. God could give you divine love. That will release a new level of faith in your heart, release a new level of miracles through you, a new level of the flow of virtue through you to people around you. How many want to be that? A source of virtue, a source of God's virtue for people around you. That when they talk to you, Jesus comes through you. That when you pray, the presence of God flows and heavenly virtue touches that other person. I'm going to invite the, a worship, one of the worship guys, maybe a keyboardist or someone to just join me on the platform. How many are ready for this? How many are ready for this? How many are ready to really step into everything in your spirit, soul, body, mind, strength, everything aligned with eternity, aligned with heaven, aligned with God's heart and with what is most important to him? And I believe it's the secret. It's the secret to faith. It's the secret to miracles. It's the secret for breakthrough. It's the secret for freedom. Man, how great is it to be free? from offense or free from negativity or free from just stuff that would rob the joy of God from your heart. Just free. Free from false comparison. Free from discouragement. Comparing yourself to someone else. You don't have to do that. You never have to compare yourself to anyone else. If you're doing it, just stop it. Freedom. Just stop it. You never have to compare yourself to another person. 
rejoice in whatever God's doing with them. And as you rejoice in God's blessing on their life, you prepare the way for God's blessing in your own life. You never, ever, ever have to get discouraged. You just have to love. Love, 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 love. And obey God and follow Him. And you will walk in everything He's destined for you to walk in. We're going to pray in just a second. After service tonight, and we're done praying at the altar, I'm going to be out at our resource table. You know, I just feel like God does want to propel us further and further and further. Everything motivated by love. We recently did a school of the prophetic, and it's out there. It's a four-part teaching series, and it is all about prophesying the golden people. The New Testament purpose of prophecy, one of the purposes is to build up, the Bible says. That word build up means construct. Construct means to build, to actually build something. So when you prophesy the gold in someone, you are helping to build the future that God has for them. It is one of the amazing redemptive qualities of prophecy that we get to operate in prophesying the gold in someone it doesn't take prophecy to see someone's weakness or fault it doesn't take a prophetic gift for that it just takes a little time around them to see where they fall short it does take the prophetic gift to see the gold in people and to see God's heart in them so we have that school of it's called prophetic activation then this is a teaching set we put together it's a four-part teaching break the power of offense and experience God's unstoppable blessing. And it is all about, I touched on it tonight, but it is all about how nothing can stop God's blessing in your life except offense. Offense is one of the biggest things that can short circuit our destiny. People have been healed listening to this, healed from trauma and stuff in their life. And then we've got these two mentoring sets this one i feel has been so significant do we have any feelers in the room feeler you know what i mean by feeler you're a sensitive person you you're intuitive you feel things in the spirit realm you're an intercessor usually feelers are worshipers intercessors they just are sensitive they feel things in the spirit realm that is me and that the gift of discernment was the first gift god gave me as a teenager and the spirit realm became very real to me but i'll tell you that in the beginning a lot of my discernment was focused on the demonic and i always felt spiritual warfare and i always felt like i was battling feeling oppression around me and it was not fun to live like that so i understand what it is to feel in the spirit realm and at times to not know exactly what to do with what you feel operating around you or or but god gave me an amazing revelation that i didn't have to live under that but I could operate in discernment from the realm of the glory and be above and not under and rule and reign over and not come under those things that I was discerning. So we put a whole mentoring course together. It's seven videos, seven audios, and it's specifically for those that feel in the spirit realm, understanding the gift of discernment, ways that you discern in the spirit, how to operate with your spiritual senses, the different types of discernment, not just demonic discernment, but also discerning the human spirit and discerning the Holy Spirit. And we teach it all from scripture, the purposes of discernment, how to operate from the glory with the gift of discernment and not come under demonic oppression, but stay above it. So you're not coming under unnecessary spiritual warfare. So that is a whole teaching set on that. And that's been marked 50% off. We adjusted the price for that and then Another one is called Mentoring in the Glory, and this is seven videos and seven audios, and that also is all different teaching. Now, both of these aren't just teaching videos and audios, but it's also prayer impartation time and then question and answer time we've put in with it. So the glory, Mentoring in the Glory is all about how to develop a glory lifestyle, where you cultivate God's presence in your home, in your family, in your marriage, in your children, in your ministry, in your workplace and just really live in that connection with the presence of God. So I'll be out at the table after service and I'll sign your CD. And if I sign it, it will be doubly anointed. <laughs> Praise God.
just lift your hands. Lord, I thank you tonight for heaven that is made so real to us. Eternity, God, that steps into time. Revealing the heart of the Father to us. Holy Spirit, we invite you into this place tonight. And we thank you for the same compassion and love that moved Christ, where he would heal the sick and set captives free. I thank you that that same love is present in this room tonight. That same love that propels a miracle forward, that releases a captive, that brings healing to the heart and to the mind and soul. If you're here tonight, I just feel this. If you're here tonight and you say, God, I want the Holy Spirit to shed the love of God abroad in my heart in a new dimension. Where everything within me becomes motivated by it and is moved by it and my faith is activated by it. That pure, pure, pure love, divine love that is in the heart of God. If you want that tonight, just stand up to your feet because we can pray and the Holy Spirit will shed the love of God abroad in our hearts. We just have to ask Him. We just have to ask Him. So let's lift our hands in worship to Him. As we worship Him right now, Lord, we love You. I thank You for every moment that we get, Father, to love You and worship You and acknowledge You for who You are. God, I thank You tonight that we can minister joy to your heart. And we do, Father. We thank you for who you are. We love you for who you are. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory tonight. We magnify you, Jesus. And Holy Spirit, even as you are brooding over this whole place right now, I can just sense the, presen the presence and person of the Holy Spirit moving over the whole place right now. And I ask, Father, that you put your hand upon people right now. And Lord, I pray for an impartation tonight of the divine love that surpasses our human condition, understanding, and ability. Father, something that is divine. I pray tonight, Holy Spirit, that you would open that love of God in our hearts and impart it into us. Imparted into us, Father, for the people that we struggle to forgive. Imparted into us, Lord, for the people that appear unlovable on the outside. But your heart is reaching out to them. Father, I ask you now, Holy Spirit, to cause your divine love to overflow within us. In the name of Jesus. I just want to worship. If, if, do we have a singer that could help? Praise the Lord. We got a singer that could, do you sing? No. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Just close your eyes. Just, tell, just love God right now, right where you are. Just love Him worship him you don't even have to wait for someone to lead you in a song you just start to tell Jesus how much you love him just close your eyes and in your own way just start to love him magnify him worship him it creates an atmosphere it, it releases something in the spirit realm whoa God's lifting us higher tonight he's lifting us higher Jesus, I thank you tonight that you are lifting us higher. Father, I pray that you would align everything in our lives with eternity. In the name of Jesus, I pray for that divine alignment. I pray for that divine heavenly fire that accompanies the love of God. The divine fire from the altar of heaven to be ignited within our hearts tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, send your fire again. Lord, we pray tonight, even for a fresh baptism of love and a fresh baptism of your fire within our hearts and lives. 
Father, I thank you that you are igniting even a fresh fire on the altar that will never go out, Father. It will burn night and day. That fire will never go out. And I pray, Lord, that that flame would be even the flame of eternal love that burns on the inside of us, that it will never go out. Nothing will be able to put it out, God. Nothing will be able to quench it, but it will burn hotter and brighter, God, with every day. In the name of Jesus, there's no fear in love. There is no striving in love. There is freedom in love. There is healing in love. There is breakthrough in love. You're free from discouragement. You're free from earthly comparisons. You're free from everything that would limit you. Oh, Jesus. There's a river, and that river brings life. It brings life. That river of God, that river of love, that river of His glory restores years that the locust ate, restores your heart, makes you new, heals your body. Father, let that river flow tonight. Let that river flow. Father, some came needing healing tonight. I pray divine healing over this place right now. Father, some came needing a healing in their body. I loose divine healing in physical bodies here tonight. Father, right now, let the fire of God begin to move in this place. And I pray for those that need heal, a healing touch. I pray let the virtue of heaven, let the divine virtue of healing flow through their bodies tonight. In the name of Jesus.